Hello, it's Cami from Tidbits. Now, do you want to know my secret for getting my kids to clean? It's not a monthly allowance. It's not the reward of having a friend over. And it's not even candy bribery. Okay, I've tried all those things and more desperate times and all. But a mama has to have a bag of tricks to get chores and cleaning fun, especially if they are going to elicit some help for spring cleaning. Now, I would like to share with you how I created this darling kids cleaning caddy and a pretty special one for myself. They're both full of natural cleaning essentials to motivate the whole family to get cleaning. Now don't miss the link below for my free bedroom cleaning checklist so your kids know exactly what to do when you say, go clean your room. Before we jump into these caddies, I'm thrilled to have a few YouTube and real life friends joining me for this collaboration. We are sharing content to help you with your spring cleaning. So be sure to check the playlist link below to take you to all the videos of my friends today. Now, my sweet friend, Julie Blanner, will be walking you through her entire spring cleaning checklist. Lara from My Oily House is also sharing her spring cleaning. And Chloe from Boxwood Avenue is sharing her favorite green cleaning products and showing you how she organizes her cleaning cabinets. Now this is sure to be a wealth of inspiration and education, and I hope you'll enjoy watching all of our videos. Okay, let's first talk about this sweet little kids cleaning caddy. Now, this year I've set the stage to make cleaning bright, fun, and cheerful for my kids. They can easily grab this cute little yellow caddy and go clean to their heart's content which may or may not last more than five minutes. Now creating your own kids cleaning caddy doesn't take much more than a few simple essentials. I will leave links to everything that you see here so you could copy it exactly if you wish, or you can just swap out a color, a color scheme. Um, this caddy comes in many different colors. Now it's really important to me to have my kids using products that are both safe for the home and for their bodies. The cleaning solutions I've included in here are natural toxic free products and can be made with a few simple ingredients that you might already have at home. Now I know my kids will end up spraying way more cleaner than they need to, but I can hardly blame them when the cleaner smells so lemony fresh. <laughs> but I feel okay about it knowing that it won't harm them if they spray too much. Now I try to keep their caddy stocked with some microfiber rags, which do the best at grabbing dust rather than letting it fly back into the air and right back onto their clean surfaces. I have a couple of kids that don't like to touch dirty things and will clean better if they have some gloves. So I just picked up these disposable small latex gloves and I just keep some in their caddy. Next, dust pans seem to disappear around here. So I keep this cute small one right inside of here for them to gather up piles of dirt after they've swept their floors. Now, I also include a bottle of all-purpose cleaning spray. There are several ways to make an all-purpose cleaner. I always just keep some concentrated, pure, castile liquid soap on hand. I simply squirt a small amount into the bottle and fill the rest up with water. This Dr. Bronner's citrus soap smells so good and makes their rooms smell fresh and clean. Now, if you don't have this, you could also just mix together some white vinegar, water, and any citrus essential oil that you might want. Now, the other spray I like to keep in their caddy is this cute little spritzer bottle. I just fill it up with filtered water so that it doesn't leave any hard water spots. And then I add 10 drops of lemon essential oil and 10 drops of orange essential oil. It smells like paradise. <laughs> it's great to spray onto bedding, clothes, inside drawers to freshen things up. Really, I find it's kind of a mental thing that just delights the senses and this sweet smell is a reward for cleaning their rooms. Your kids will love spraying their clean room with this, I promise. Like I mentioned, I include this cute little laminated room cleaning checklist in their caddy with a dry erase marker. My kids just work their way down to the end with a clean smelling good room. 
So, so much of the struggle of getting kids to clean is not having the expectations laid out clearly, and this really helps us just keep the peace on Saturday mornings. So you can sign up for my Tidbit subscriber library where you will get um, an instant download to this printable and many more, and that link is below as well. Okay, I also splurged a bit and got this darling yellow pinafore apron, which is sure to make cleaning a little more charming for this cutie. I just couldn't help myself. Okay, that is all I have for the kids cleaning caddy. It is simple yet productive, which is my approach to my cleaning caddy as well. So let's take a look at mom's cleaning caddy. I will say I keep a separate caddy just for bathroom cleaning supplies specifically, which I can cover in another video. This is more of an all-purpose caddy. I can cart it with me to the car for cleaning, into bedrooms for uh, kitchen deep cleaning, or wherever my services are needed throughout the house. So my caddy is much bigger, and I found this beautiful bamboo one on Amazon. It's the perfect size. It has nice wide compartments, which I can't seem to find with the plastic ones. Okay, a lot of the supplies in here are the same as the kids' caddy. I keep a handful of microfiber rags in here. I like to keep some disposable gloves for me as well, just for some tough, dirty scrubbing. I also have a mini dustpan, so I know if anyone steals it. <laughs> I have a roll of paper towels. Now these ones, are particularly my new favorites. Uh, they're a new discovery for me. They are washable bamboo paper towels and they pick up dirt and soak it up really well. And I've been washing them for a long time and I just keep reusing them. Of course, when you're, they're washed, you can't, they're no longer on a roll, but I just fold them up and keep them in a pretty little stack on our windowsills. I also keep a roll of garbage bags right inside of here, plus my favorite little wooden scrubber. I like to keep my sprays in glass bottles. I have two amber bottles, one for my multi-purpose cleaner and one for my linen spray. And then I have a clear glass water bottle for my glass cleaners for like mirrors and windows. Now my multi-purpose cleaner is the same as um, the one I did for the kids cleaning caddy. It's that Dr. Bronner's and I just add a tiny bit of the cast aisle soap into the bottle and then fill the rest of it up with water. The linen spray is the same, just water and essential oils, but sometimes I do add a squirt of witch hazel to these bigger bottles. It helps the oils disperse in the water, and since this is such a big bottle, it just helps keep the spray smelling good all the way to the bottom. I just give it a little shake before I spray all over my linens. I keep my favorite essential oils right inside of this caddy for just quick and easy refills. My other favorite combo to use for the linen spray is lavender, peppermint, and lemon. My glass cleaner is made up of three-fourths full of filtered water, and then I just filled up the rest of the way with white vinegar and add 20 drops of lemon essential oil. So the last cleaner I keep in here is this Abene Kui. You know, you might remember I suggested this stuff when I was talking about cleaning my fire clay sink. Chloe of Boxwood Avenue, who is also sharing cleaning tips today, she recommended this on Instagram and I've been hooked. It works amazingly well on stains and it says it is good for fiberglass, stainless steel, enamel, aluminum, ceramic, porcelain, rubber, plastic, vinyl, brass, glass, marble, granite, cement, <laughs> grout. You get the point. But it really does a good job at removing stains or any buildup. Oh, and I also keep a bottle of lotion in my caddy just because my hands get super dry after cleaning. Okay, there you have it. All of our cleaning essentials for the whole family to get so excited about cleaning. <laughs> Attitude is everything, right? I would love to hear what cleaning essentials that you have to have, and I hope you are leaving today with several ideas. Remember that links to the items I talked about can be sourced below. The free printable link is below, and thank you for watching. Please click around my channel and blog for more inspiration for do-it-yourself living.